Prince Harry is honoring some of the hero COVID-19 researchers. The Oxford team have done their part. They are heroes of the highest order who gave us an instrument to fight this disease. They are our nation's pride and we are deeply indebted to their service. The Duke of Sussex made a special virtual appearance during Tuesday night's GQ Men of the Year Awards in London. Harry joined the award show live from his home in California to present the annual Heroes of the Year Award to the scientists behind the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Our heroes of this evening are Professor Sarah Gilbert, Dr. Catherine Green, and the entire team of dedicated Oxford scientists. Their breakthrough research on the Oxford vaccine has brought the world one of the greatest tools for achieving vaccine equity. The dad of two, who suited up in a sleek black tuxedo for the occasion, shined a spotlight on the amazing work Professor Gilbert, Dr. Catherine Green, and their team did to aid in the crisis. They also approached their mission with a humanitarian urgency. In April of last year, the Oxford team packed up a shipment of research cultures and stealthily sent it to India an early example of the biotech collaboration we need to bring this global crisis to an end. Prince Harry went on to speak out about the importance of vaccine equity, something he has been advocating for since the vaccines were released. Until every community can access the vaccine and until every community is connected to trustworthy information about the vaccine, then we are all at risk. That's a common refrain that my wife and I have heard in convenings with vaccine experts, heads of industry, community advocates and global leaders. The Duke emphasized the value of getting vaccinated. As people sit in the room with you tonight, more than a third of the global population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. That's more than five billion shots given around the world so far. And it sounds like a major accomplishment, and in many ways it is. But there is a huge disparity between who can and cannot access the vaccine. Less than 2% of people in the developing world have received a single dose at this point. And many of the healthcare workers are still not vaccinated. We cannot move forward together unless we address this imbalance as one. Harry went on to say that misinformation surrounding the vaccine is creating vaccine hesitancy, which he says is dividing communities, and called on leaders from all over the globe to take action. For the rest of us, including global governments, pharmaceutical leaders, and heads of business, we have to keep doing our part. That must include sharing vaccine science and supporting and empowering developing countries with more flexibility. Where you're born should not affect your ability to survive, when the drugs and know-how exist to keep you alive and well. 